You know, one of the things I wanted you to show me was your, your hearing aids. You still have some of your hearing aids from back in the day? Uh, sure, sure, yes. This was my very first hearing aid. That's like the size of a cell phone. Yeah. My mother would make a strap for me to wear, and then I'd just go around like this, and this would be... Oh, my goodness. This is what I wore for many years. And then they downsized for this. So this is what you call downsizing. <laughs> yes, I yes, mean, it yes. is smaller, but... And this is what I wore at Upper Arlington. Oh. And I would be teased going to the gym. Why? Well, they would see that I had this on a, a harness on, under my shirt. And, of course, I got teased that they thought I was wearing the boys and the locker room thought I was wearing a bra. And so oh, I hated that. Not Be, being good. Being picked on and teased. Yeah. And that's why I never really got involved with her sports. <laughs> but anyway, <clears throat> and now the hearing aids are, and even this is getting old. They have smaller ones mm -hmm. now and in, in the ear. But then, but those in the ear are not uh, powerful enough for me, so. Do you naturally have some hearing without the hearing aid? Without the hearing aid, nothing, or maybe a, a real boom. But uh, to understand uh, speech, speech or talking, no. Um, the hearing aid really does uh, offer me a lot. Primarily, I'm a, an avid lip reader, and so, and even with lip reading, one, one third of the spoken language is understood on the lip. Hmm. So, that's why we can, we make a lot of assumptions and, oh. it, and making errors in, in the communication. And I say lip reading, you know, even in the, in the deaf um, community, it varies. I mean, it, it's like being talented or having a skill. Not all deaf people are good lip readers. And so it just varies on the individual. Well, that, I admire you tremendously.